but already it smells quite different from like bacon. It doesn't have that sort of smoky smell. Now that our guanciale is bubbling, we're gonna add our al dente pasta. And we wanna stir quickly so we don't get scrambled eggs. Mmm, 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 mmm. Hello, Tomodachi. Buongiorno. Yes, so today we're gonna make carbonara. And uh, we're gonna try and make it as simple as possible and see if it tastes really, really good. All right, let's cook. So if you wanna see more recipes like this, give us a like and subscribe. Let's start. First step is to make sauce. And carbonara is really simple. It's very few ingredients. All right, so first of all, we have to uh, put the eggs into the bowl. So this is two fresh eggs and for a little bit more richness, one extra egg yolk. One extra. So we're gonna mix the eggs until they're really smooth. We will use the fork, not the chopsticks. All right. Pecorino cheese. So this is one cup grated pecorino cheese, fresh. So this cheese is flown in from Italy and we can smell that sort of very different smell from Japanese cheese. It's good. And also lastly, the pepper. So we want quite a, quite a bit of pepper, maybe two, one spoon or so. Mm. So Japanese eggs are always really nice because the color is so yellow. And we want everything incorporated nicely so it becomes a nice smooth sauce. Sauce is done. So now that we've made the sauce, the next step is to fry up our guanciale. So. This is Italian guanciale, which will go in the pan. And we're just gonna cook this over medium heat. So we're gonna cook this guanciale very, very slowly so that all of this nice fat comes out. But already it smells quite different from like bacon. It doesn't have that sort of smoky smell. All right, second step is finished. Step three is to boil the pasta. And we just have a big pot here and we're gonna get boiling. Okay, ready for the water. And uh, we always have to season our water, so we're gonna add a little bit of salt to make it taste like the ocean. And our pasta is not bright yellow, like Uncle Roger said. Maybe 200 grams? I think so. So one trick for pasta, about one ring size of your hand will be one serving. So that's one, and that's two. Now we are just going to make sure all the pasta is submerged and we're gonna boil it until al dente, so with tooth. So the pasta time management is very important. Yes, and if this gets too soggy, it'll just be a big mess when we finish. Okay, we'll see you back when the pasta's ready. All right, let's set it aside. Now that our guanciale is bubbling, we're gonna add our al dente pasta. Pasta Very important. So while that is bubbling away, we're gonna take our sauce and we're gonna add a spoonful of our pasta water. So our hot pasta water into the sauce. And we stir it really, really well to start melting the cheese and to get the sauce making started. And we're gonna turn the heat off. And we wanna stir quickly so we don't get scrambled eggs very quickly. Loosen it up with a little bit more pasta water. Looks creamy. And I think we're done. Carbonara. All right. All right. So now our carbonara is finished. Yes. So, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh, very cheesy smell. Oh, oh, oh. So the guanciale actually has this sort of sweet smell to it. I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is nice bacon. Hmm. This flavor is the pasta is so good, and it's not too soft. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. 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 Oh, pasta. How would it taste? but I think it's already quite salty because of the pork. Yeah, already salty though. And so, the cheese, yeah. But with MSG. 
what kind of taste is it? Okay, just a little bit more umami flavor. But actually, cheese already has a lot of like umami taste, I think. Already inside. Natural MSG. <laughs> it's a bit too much. Mm. Mm. Too salty? Too salty and too, too umami. Ah. So if you want to see us try more recipes or even, you know, show you guys some Japanese carbonara, give our channel a like and subscribe. Bye bye. See you next time. <laughs> so better than Uncle Roger's pasta. <laughs> Maybe I think seasoning with MSG in the water might be too strong of a flavor.